And we're talking about the chill in the air. Oh, yes, it's part of what we're watching in the First Alert Weather Center. There are more freeze warnings tonight. Windy conditions on Tuesday and another chance for rain and snow with the First Alert Weather Day coming our way on Thursday. Let's talk about those freeze warnings right now. They cover parts of the Front Range. This is including Fort Collins, Greeley, Frederick, down into Leader, parts of Adams and Arapahoe County, all the way down to the southeast parts of El Paso County, and then a lot of western Colorado as well. So it is going to be downright cold tomorrow morning. Certainly jacket weather for a lot of us. Taking a look at those lows for tonight, 33 in Denver. We did get our first freeze earlier today, but 33 in Boulder, 31 in Fort Collins, 26 in Greeley. Lots of low to mid 20s in the southeast, high country, teens to the low double digits, and then teens for northwestern Colorado and teens and 20s down into the southwest. So again, because of that, we do have those freeze warnings in place. So Bob Hembry reporting 38 degrees for us just northwest of Bailey. He said there's a lot of snow on the peaks near him and a lot of frost out there as well with those cool temperatures. Temperatures. Right now it's 48 in Boulder, 53 in Fort Collins. We're at 50 here in Denver. Lots of low uh, 50s and upper 40s for the Plains, 20s, 30s in the high country. Our satellite and radar, a little bit of light rain in that northeastern part of the state. Otherwise, a lot of clearing right now. So that clearing is helping with those cold temperatures tonight and looking at our future cast. For tonight, we clear out, but tomorrow morning early we start to build a little bit of rain and some snow in northwestern Colorado. A lot of cloud cover as well. Front range eastern plains, we wake up to sunshine and it is definitely going to be crisp out there tomorrow morning. And then we see that snow get a little bit more widespread throughout the afternoon and into the evening while the front range in eastern plains, we see some building cloud cover, maybe a stray shower in Denver, but for the most part, that moisture will stay in the mountains and maybe a pop or two on the far eastern plains. Now looking at our super seven day forecast tomorrow, 61 degrees, increasing clouds out there. We have the 40s and 50s off to the west, the 30s and 40s in the mountains and lots of 60s for our eastern plains. So this is actually our warmest day until we get to the weekend because on Wednesday, we start to see some bigger changes roll in. This will lead us into our first alert weather day on Thursday. Wednesday, a cold front's going to work its way through starting in the morning hours. Does bring a chance for snow to the high country, maybe a little bit of rain on uh, Wednesday evening here in Denver. Then that front will pass through by Thursday morning and it follows with another area of low pressure. So that one two punch brings us a chance of a lot of wind. It will also bring us the chance for some snow and maybe even some snow here to Denver. We're on the cusp, whether it fully changes over to snow or it stays on that rain snow mix for us. Still a little bit TBD on that, but there will be some snow out there, especially in the high country where we may see some more heavy snow, especially down in that southwestern part of the state. It's great for our resorts and uh, of course with the drought out there, especially out west, we really need this moisture. So we have great snow coming our way. Denver could have our first snow of the season. Again, we got our first freeze this morning. So 45 on Thursday. If you haven't blown out your sprinklers just yet, it's getting to be that time where you need to start thinking about it. We'll have a hard freeze on Thursday night and we won't be nearly as warm as we were last week. So the ground is starting to get a little bit cooler. And then this weekend, is beautiful out there. Temperatures in the low 60s with a lot of sunshine around here and then maybe a few sprinkles. Unfortunately, we're still going to watch Halloween. Uh, there might be a few rain showers for trick-or-treat time. Oh, the kids won't mind. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you.